Okay, welcome to the School of Education Professional Practice Office. I'm just going to show you how you access all the information regarding professional experience placements. Okay, the program we use is called Sonia Online. You access that from uh, the university homepage. You go to web portals, uh, then you select Sonia Online. You now need to log on. Please select School of Education Fremantle, even if you are a health sciences student. When you're logging on, make sure you select student. Okay. Uh, your username and your password are the same as um, those that you use for logging onto webmail or blackboard. Once you've logged on the home screen looks something like this and you will notice that when I come to the placement group I'm viewing now a pink section which says outstanding checks okay so before I go any further because I cannot put in preferences or do anything about placements until my checks are up to date so I go to checks I can see my um, working with children expiry date is mandatory yes that's in my working with children number is also mandatory it's in however my education criminal record check reference number has not been entered so I'm going to enter that and then I need to save I also need to upload the documents associated with those two checks. So my working with children card, I place on a university photocopier and press email. I will then get emailed to me a PDF copy of it, which I can upload here. The same with my screening letter from the Department of Education. Uh, put it on a photocopier, press email and upload the PDF there. Okay, make sure you save and you've done all that. Back to placements and I can see that pink section has disappeared because my checks are all valid and up to date. Okay, so term 2, 2018. Um, if I would like to enter my preferences, I can now go to the preference tab. And my schools have all come up. Notice um, that the schools are arranged alphabetically. Um, it's quite useful to arrange them by distance from my... Um, my postcode address. Now if your postcode address is not correct you will need to change that with student admin otherwise it's quite difficult to view schools that are close to you. Okay so now the schools are coming up close to my address I've got uh, the little tab here which is Google Maps which is quite handy if you're looking at um, you know schools with generic names like St Joseph's and you can mix up Pinjaro, Aruna and Wyndham. So Google Maps make sure you know where they are, number of places the school are offering, and you can go to the Google search which will take you straight to the school. Um, to get a little bit more information, notice this one, East Fremantle Primary School has five places. If I open that up, I will be able to see that those five places are H&PE, Year 2, Year 6, um, a Year 5 split, which means two teachers ma managing the Year 5 class, and a Year 2. So when I pick my preferences, I actually have to be quite specific and pick the actual year level or learning area. Please note that HPE places are for HPE students only. Uh, early childhood people should only pick kindergarten to year three. And primary people should only pick year one to year six. Okay, so I'm going to select... Fremantle Christian College, Junior Primary, Kindergarten, Year 2, I'm going to Okay, so you can see as I'm selecting my preferences, they're coming up um, in the right-hand side. Now there are a couple of little things that can help you. We have filters here, and I can actually filter if I want to just look at sectors. So I could go, okay, let's just look at Catholic schools, um, and then let's have a look at the specific location. Let's look at Catholic schools north of the river. Okay, go down to the bottom filter. Okay, so now the filters have come up and I've just picked up Catholic schools north of the river. Okay, so I'm going to keep going with my preferences and there's one at Trinity, so I'm going to pick that's a fee place. I can't pick that because I'm not PE. I'll go back. And okay, so we need to proceed until you have selected um, five preferences. Um, there we go, you can see on the right hand side I've now got five in. When you've entered all five preferences, don't forget to save. Okay, you've got your five places in there. If you want to edit any of those, you're able to um, do so. You can also hover over the information and click and you'll see what year levels you actually picked at 
uh, the different schools. Okay. Okay, the next thing I'd like you to look at in Sonia is the section called My Details. So we click that tab here and you'll see the first part is next of kin. I would like you to write in the name of your next of kin, the relationship that they are to you, their contact details, email, phone number and save. The other thing I'd like you to do is actually scroll down and if you are a secondary student only uh, to indicate your main teaching area. Okay, so that's the... Um, from the drop-down box choose and your minor teaching area so the major teaching area you're going to write in there and the minor one you can write in there you also need to indicate uh, whether you are teaching RE as a learning area um, you tick yes if you're going to be teaching RE as a learning area if you're doing your accreditation just to teach in a Catholic school just tick no and please um, make those changes and save them Okay, if you'd like to discuss your placement, you need to make an interview to come in to the professional practice office. The way in which you do that is go to the interviews tab. Okay, so that's just showing the interviews available between the 4th of January and the 31st. There's none, so just scroll through and you'll see the first available interview is on the 8th of February. Um, and you can scroll down and see different interviews on different days. Um, and if you'd like to select an interview time, you just click select and your interview will be locked in. If for any reason you need to then cancel that, you just go to delete and cancel that interview. So you only need to make an, uh, an interview if you would like to come in and discuss any aspect of your your placement or preferences or anything, but um, there's, no, there's no need to if you don't have any specific questions. Okay, in the last part of this video I'm just going to show you forms. Okay, so from the home page you get forms, and there are a number of forms um, from this drop down box I'd like you to be aware of. One is the um, professional experience self briefing. Okay, this is a form that needs to be completed before you go on a professional experience, so I'm going to add that to my forms. Uh, my next placement is term 2 2018. I'm now going to click on edit, and I've now got the professional experience self briefing form which I need to complete. Okay, so you'll need to complete this in your own time, go through lots of information on there. When you have completed it, or sorry, as you're completing it, you can click Save Draft as many times as you like. Um, and when you have finally finished, you click Submit. Once you've clicked Submit, you are no longer able to edit the form. So it's definitely worth looking at that form. It does explain um, how you apply for your criminal record checks. It makes it clear all the things that, that you need. Um, it also tells you about the resources and the guidelines. One of the things it does say, I have downloaded a copy of the guidelines and read them. Those guidelines can be found on the Sonia homepage. You'll need to look and find the appropriate guidelines for each placement. Okay, I'm just going to show you where to access resources for professional experience. So from the home screen, I'm going to go to placements. And you'll notice there are two placement groups here that everyone has access to join. One are resources for rural placements. This is um, where you'll find lots of information if you're interested in a future rural experience. But the resources for professional experience are the ones that everyone needs to look at. When you go to the details of that, you will see the guidelines for all the professional experience services. So if you're a Bachelor of Education primary student, these are the guidelines that you need, the primary student guidelines. They contain information for all primary placements, professional experience placements. Internship guidelines are for anyone doing an internship, Master of Teaching guidelines, Master of Teaching secondary guidelines, School Experience 1, School Experience 2. So depending on which school experience you'll do, you're doing, you'll need to look at the appropriate guidelines. So all the resources are found under placements in resources for professional experience. Just going back to the home page, you will find another uh, another um, set of resources here. Under checks, you will see information about how education students get criminal record checks, renewing checks online. Um, so please look very carefully at those. Remember that if you get a, a, a check from a police station or a... Um, it, the, the, that you will be wasting your money because it won't be the right one. Okay, the education criminal record check is done by the education department and the working with children check is done by um, the education department as well. Um, so please take your time to have a look at some of these resources that you'll find useful.